करेंगे तो क्लास वेलकम टू रम टी करो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू सॉल्व द मिसिंग वैल्यू ऑफ द वाइबल एन सो आई प्रॉमिस टू डिस्कस विद यू हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस मिसिंग वैल्यू ऑफ योर एन या तो लास्ट ना कोंग ब्लॉग ओके सो आई हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर यू then we have the following choices okay so take note that uh, the frequent values of your n are always uh, are 6 uh, 2 12 and 4 we have n equals to 6 if you mean compounded monthly uh, by monthly but if you say n equals to 2 that that means compounded semi annually if n equals to 12 that means compounded monthly and if n equals to 4 that means compounded quarterly okay so let me clarify if n equals to 6 that means compounded bi monthly every 2 months okay so I have here the trial and error solution. So far this uh, solution is the easiest one nga kong ma-share kaninyo. Because I try to use the logarithmic uh, any uh, any other solution but trial and error solution is the easiest way, the fastest way that you can uh, do to find the value of the variable n okay let's have the solution a so notice mantain ninyo nga from step 1 to step 4 we focus on the parentheses so, so in step 1 uh, we simultaneously do the division inside the parentheses and the multiplication in the exponential side pag about sa second step uh, we have already the quotient uh, five uh, thousands and the product twelve in the exponential side. And then about the step three, uh, we have already added the number one and the quotient five thousands. Okay. Notice that from step 1 to step 3, 100,000 is not uh, affected. It is maintained. About the step 4, uh, by using our scientific calculator, uh, we are able to express 1 and 5,000 raised uh, raise to the power of 12 into a single number, 1 and uh, 61 million 677,812 billions. So, this uh, product or power is then multiplied to 100,000 pagabot sa step 5. Because both sides of the equation are not equal to each other, then we have the step 6. We have the inequality sign to show that both quantities are not equal to each other. Take note that kiningi pang mention na kung mga steps sa solution A are the same with solution B, uh, solution C, and solution D. Let's have letter B. Uh, N equals to 2. So the same gap on sa A, uh, we're not able to prove that both sides of the equation are equal. So we have this inequality sign. Kata kong giingon ng mga steps sa uh, uh, A, the same ra halos din sa letter B. Ang mga pun sa letter C, ang step nga kung dimension sa letter ay di siya maragyapon sa 
letter C. The steps that I have mentioned in letter A are the same in letter C, B and C. Okay? So again, the solution shows that both sides of the equation in step 6 are not equal to each other. Now, we, ha we have letter D. So, by this time, we don't have step 6 because so step 5 pa lang, uh, we have shown in step 5 that both sides of the equation are equal to each other. So, as long as you are able to show that both sides of the equation are equal to each other in step 5, using a certain value of your n, then that value of your n must be the solution of the problem. So, we can say that the answer to this problem is letter D. Letter D. Okay. I hope you uh, enjoy my discussion today. Next time, I'm going to show you how to solve the missing value of the variable t. Okay. That's all and goodbye.